dear students now in the class let us uh, discuss about uh, cystic i told you in the very beginning while i was uh, explaining about the sonnet basically it is a petrarchal form of sonnet now we are in the cystic part that is second part of the petrarchal sonnet in the octave we have discussed about the two sounds the poet listens in the two ears and it effects but in the sestet of the poem we discuss about the obsession of modernity in the mind of the poet let us see how the lines begins in the sestet it begins with a surprising question the poet is astonished for the rapid progress of modern man and the challenges that he is facing in the modern life and challenges uh, that he is uh, facing in the global world today the line uh, begins like this how these to shame the shallow and frail town and these to shame the shallow and frail town the poet feels very bad for the town the life in the town today it is frail it has become inactive there is only artificial interaction and relationship in the modern man's life today how these to shame this shallow and frail town that means the modern man cannot listen cannot enjoy the natural noises of the bird and the tide like him and further how ring right out our sordid torpid time being pure how ring right out our sordid torpid time being pure here we see the two terms sordid and torpid everything in the modern life is polluted and corrupted utter confusion and crisis the modern man is in today he was pure by birth that purity was bestowed by nature to him but he has lost that let us see what reason that the poet gives next here the poet compares the natural noises of the sea and the skylar to the noises of modern man today only one sound we listen continuously and constantly by the modern man is that of the progress there is a contrast between them the town today in the name of progress and development becomes inactive and artificial the ringing sound of the bird at sea has no place in the modern life though man has got a prime place in the scheme of creation though the man has got a prime place in the scheme of creation he is not living with joys natural joys because he is running after material success but not of spiritual success therefore the poet is in complete obsession towards the corruption of man 
and primal innocence of nature. According to the poet, man today has lost a cheers and charms provided by the nature. And breaking and going against to the nature and natural life. In the name of progress and success, the modern man lives in dust. And, and uh, it is the first slime of man. The poet ends the poem. It is the first slime of man. Man kills himself. Man suffers for his own crime, which is made against to the nature. Therefore, in the state, the poet tries to conclude and give a message that man should leave the natural life to lead a peaceful life man should run after spirituality thank you